Just because someone's a Christian leader, it doesn't mean that uh, they're going to lead their family well. And many times we see ministry out, we see it in the church, we see it in those we're discipling. Uh, and and uh, we don't realize the immense importance of discipling our family and leading them first. That's why Paul said someone who should be an elder, it needs to be demonstrated that he can actually do that in his home before we can expect him to do it in God's family. Uh, the, the, the nuclear close family is, is, the, is the, really the proving ground for our leadership as, as we go on. Uh, what we find is, is sometimes we find people who are uh, outwardly very successful in Christian leadership, and you go a little deeper into their families and you just find it's a mess. You find um, that, they're, um, that they're, they're, their wives are, are strained and unhappy, that their children are disillusioned, that for them, God and ministry, um, ministry is something that stole dad away. Uh, God is, is something that um, uh, they, uh, they hear about but they don't see at home because dad comes home and he's tired and, and uh, those values are not lived at home. And uh, sometimes you, you find kids growing up in Christian homes who become very bitter, very, very far from, from God. Um, I grew up in a, in a mission organization, and some of the children turned out fabulous. And uh, one of my best friends growing up, his, his dad was a fabulous Bible teacher and was uh, really a gifted leader. And this friend, Paul, uh, ended up going into life of rebellion and... Um, Spent time in jail for he robbed a bank. Spent time in jail, did drugs, just uh, just unraveled his life, and uh, and finally at the age of about forty five he committed suicide in a bathtub in, in Las Vegas. And uh, this is a, a guy I grew up with who grew up in a in a missionary family. So, uh, but he would he would tell you that um, that a ministry went on around him, but um, he somehow got mixed, missed in the middle of it. And even later when his dad recognized that, it was, um, it was almost too late to, to repair. So I think a key question for us is, is how can we be um, fully engaged in ministry because that is God's call in our lives, and at the same time have that ministry be a blessing to our family. Not, not just even that our family survives that call to ministry, but they're actually blessed and benefited by it. Uh, that's act, that's the thing I want to challenge leaders at that that your ministry can your children cannot just survive your ministry they can actually be blessed by your ministry if you understand what they what they need and uh, work hard to provide it for them.